Communion, I bring greetings to you, greetings of love and peace. I'm Grandmother Mona Palaka of the House Supai, the people of the Blue Green Water and the uh, Hopi and Tewa. The Hopi are the people of peace. And uh, I come to you here today, I come to you and I greet you with an open hand. In my Hopi teachings, um, we greet one another that way. And that's to show you I come in peace. I touch my heart and offer my hand to you in peace. And in that way, we could be able to uh, have a good relationship. We could be able to be in um, communication. We could be able to be in touch with each other in a peaceful manner and to be able to um, connect with um, good intentions good intentions of um, of what the way we were put here in this life on this mother earth i'd like to give acknowledgement and gratitude to uh, the divine creations the water the air the fire the earth all these things that give us our life and from that why we, we have relationship with uh, other, other uh, divine creations, the plant life, the animal life, the four-legged wing, the water life. We have relationship with all these things, including our, um, the stone people, including uh, all of these um, different uh, minerals and all of the different elements that are part of what make up life here on Mother Earth, our sacred medicines, earth-based medicines. All of these things, even the things that we have no idea about, we don't know about. We're still learning. We're still learning about life here on Mother Earth. We're still learning about our relationship with Mother Earth. And that concept of we are all related. We cannot live in this world without that sacred connection and that sacred relationship of reciprocity, of being in gratitude and be able to give, give of ourselves as well as how we take the things that give us our life, the things that aren't man-made. And the way that we continue to replenish, replenish our being so that we could be well and we could live in a good way. Our ancestors, they left a way for us. They showed us the way, they guided us, and they left us this home in really good order so that we could live. And they made a prayer and they said, called on the Creator, they called on Mother Earth, they called on Father Son, called on Grandmother Moon and the universe, and said, bless my children. Bless my grandchildren. Bless the future generations that are yet to come, the ones we will not see. And they lived in a good way so that we could come and their prayers could be answered. And that's who we are. We're the ones they prayed for. And now it's incumbent upon us to make those prayers for our children, our grandchildren, our future generations that are yet to come, the ones that we will not see. So that they could have a life here on Mother Earth, we must make sure we have something here for them, that we take good care of, of what provides for us today because it's going to provide for them in the future. And in that way, we must 
live in health, balance. We must live in harmony. We must live in what we we're talking about, peace. We must extend an open hand to one another, not a closed hand in a fist, which means aggression, which means fight. But we must come together in peace. Peace in our heart, peace in our mind in the way that we think. Peace in our presence and how we approach one another when we come into someone else's space. Peace in the way that we are going to gather our foods, our medicines from Mother Earth. A peaceful way of communicating, of relating to the plants, to the animals in the way that they give their lives so we could have life. We must do it in a peaceful manner. And we must also be sure and be able to think about how it, they, those things, they have to regenerate. We, we must exercise this process of take only what you need Leave some for the rest. There's others who are going to need that, including the plant life, the animal life. We must be able to exercise that as part of living our life in peace here on Mother Earth. We must also continue to share and share to share even our teachings about how to live in this way. That's part of our instructions as indigenous people. To be able to share the, the things that we use as part of our basic survival. What's kept us here, living here in these places where we reside for so long from time immemorial, what has kept us in these places we call our homelands, our sacred home on Mother Earth? What have, has been done? What have we done? How have we done that to be able to be here today? And some throughout the world, indigenous people, all over the world there are, are people, indigenous people, who have not given up their ways. They continue to still survive on the basic foundations of life that the Creator gave to them in the place where He put them. In order for the rest of the world today to be able to come back in balance and in harmony, to come back to peace. Look at that. You have to look at that. Look at what have, what have those elders, those ancient ones, the ancestors, what did they do in order to survive? And when I'm talking about the, the ancestors, I'm not just talking about native the Native Americans or any specific group of people. I'm talking about all of humanity, red, yellow, black, and white. To look at that, we all have ancestors that were here before us and they lived in the most sustainable way. They know what sustainability is. That word today is just a word. It's a label. But we must practice it. And practicing it is going to be a big paradigm shift, a big change. But in order for us to come back to this life of goodness, good peace, and harmony, 
good relations, really embracing we are all related. That's what my feeling, my thought, my hope, my prayer is at this time for everyone in the world. So I just have that much to say to you here at this time. Thank you. Blessings to everyone.